this is session two or lecture two. <clears throat> okay. Of bubble point and dew point calculations. Dew point calculations. You might be wondering why I'm showing this particular flowchart. See this flowchart, <clears throat> simply putting it, I will redraw this so that you have a clarification because there's a scan copy which is taken from the internet. So this is the feed actually, it is going to a heat exchanger. It is heated to its near, near the near bubble point and then it is allowed to pass through an expander and it is entering a flash tower tangentially so that liquid and vapor this is bottom is the liquid and top is the vapor okay so this is a simple operation of a flash vaporization okay so we will try to retain the conditions or rather simply putting how we can draw this in dwc okay now let's come to the dwc here okay so here how we shall draw this i would like to take the direct conditions actually here there is a pressure changes separators and tanks so from this we choose this particular gas liquid separator so here if i zoom on this looks something like this so i'm trying to build this particular process flow sheet window <clears throat> as it is from the table you know how does it look like it looks like what you call feed and a heat exchanger and then passing through an expander and then to the flash vaporizing flash tower or rather say i should say flash tower this is vapor and this is liquid both are in equilibrium this is feed but this condition here at this particular feed this can be at room temperature but as you go across this particular stream here you know, after this uh, what you call expander here we can see a two phase formation yeah. So the, here up to this phase, this is single phase, this is single phase, but here it is two phase. So here if it is entering tangentially, the liquid flows down and the vapor goes up. So this is how the whole or rather, you know, flash vaporization operation. Simply putting it in the DWC terminology, we say this to be as the gas liquid separator or we say it is flash drum okay flash drum so we can actually build that particular you know i can take heater i can take a valve an expander and then i can build it <clears throat> but let me not do it that things now as, as it is exactly if i take this here you know see Okay, uh, let me actually do that also for the understanding sake. So I go to the heat exchangers, I take heat up, right? So I keep it in between these two. So this is something coming like this. Yeah, so don't get confused here. Okay, so let me put it in a, what you call another terminology. Okay. Like this. See, let us actually look at like this. <laughs> this is heater and this is the flash drum right so this is the flash drum and this is the output of the heater right now what is required here is that the output of the heater should go into the wall so we will remove this particular stream here you know, delete one here. okay done so heater requires some energy. So this is energy part. Okay. Always this is coming into picture. So we should be careful or rather 
we should actually look into this while building this particular process. This is how it looks like actually. I require a wall. Wall is nothing but a pressure changer. I go to a pressure changer. That means I take up a wall here and I keep the wall here at this place. So again, you know, this is trying to actually, we are trying to do this like this. So let me actually arrange all these things here. See, you have to be very cautious in actually arranging these things. You know, you should take some time to arrange these things. Otherwise, it will look very messy to you. So it should not show. Yeah, hope now the see this particular thing goes to this particular place, right? So now I say this is seven stream. I click on the V1 flash drum and the connector. You know, what we say is that and the connector or the inlet stream we connect we take the inlet stream as seven. Now if I click this here, automatically this gets you know see how it has happened. Wow, it looks something great. Okay, let me remove this particular arrow. Yeah, see now total operation we are able to see in one diagram now. So this is liquid and then this is vapor. Yeah, so this you can see this is vapor here. Okay, so I tried to build a flow sheet thoroughly. So a heater here, right? Yeah. So there is a heater here, and then it is going to the wall here. See, and then it is going to the wall here. Okay, and then after the wall, we are sending the stream to the gas liquid separator or a flash drum. This particular, you know, um, what do you call it? this is known as flash drum or gas liquid separator. Okay. Don't worry about, you know, uh, whether it is looking like tangential entry or that. So, for a better understanding, that is given. But as it is in industry purpose, we can also visualize this particular equipment here. So this is the one what we did in this particular exercise, building as it is the flow sheet which is given in the textbook of mass transfer operations that is Travel, written by Travel. Okay. So now specifying the equipment, specifying the inputs and all remains same. Remains that means we have to look into all those things. Now let me save this. Okay. So this is I say operation operation flash flash. Okay. Let me do this operation flash. But here in operation flash, this is one. That means building the flow sheet is the first step. Uh, we'll see in the next uh, what do you call session how to give the inputs of benzene, toluene. We'll take one example and then we start giving the inputs. Okay.